We are in my Marcello's cooking studio and we're going to make a big uh, panzanella salad uh, for a charity event. We're going to use uh, all wheat uh, caprisine or uh, friselle. To make uh, this recipe, it's uh, very simple. We're going to need some tomatoes, garden tomatoes, some red onions, some celery, some cucumbers, okay? Then some basil, okay? Salt, pepper, oregano. But uh, we needed to wet this uh, caprisine a little bit. So what we do is we put some water on top of it. Okay, just a little water, not too much, okay? All right? Okay, not too much. But then we're gonna put some vinegar. You can use white vinegar, apple vinegar, cider vinegar, whatever vinegar you want. You put some nice vinegar, like that. Okay, and then you let them get uh, a little bit soft. It doesn't have to be too soft, but you want a little crunchy and a little bit mushy. All right, so then we're gonna let them stay here for a little bit, okay? Until it gets a little soft. In the meantime, we have the tomato here. So what we wanna do, we wanna season everything separate. So we're gonna put salt. We're gonna put oregano. We're gonna put pepper. Same thing over here, a little bit salt. Salt. Here the cucumbers, needs a little bit more salt. Okay, and we do the same thing. A little bit pepper, pepper, pepper. Okay, and then oregano, oregano, oregano. Here, we're gonna put a good amount of basil. Okay, just like that. And now, with my gloves, I'm mixing everything already. The tomato, you can leave with the, with the seed, just chop it, because remember, this is gonna become a big salad that needs to be uh, soaked in the so bread. After, <clears throat> we're mixing, you know, the tomatoes, we're mixing the cucumbers. Okay, just so that way all the seasoning, the salt and the pepper gets all around the vegetables. This is the only way you can get the flavors of every ingredients. Okay, same thing with the celery, mixing it up, okay. And now we're gonna start to put it together. Okay, put the cucumbers together. Okay, this is a perfect salad to go with some great extra virgin olive oil. All right. Same thing right now, mixing everything together. Okay, and then after we mix everything together, before we put the extra virgin olive oil, we let them sit a little bit. Now, you can also put some garlic here, but today we're gonna do without the garlic. So this way people can taste the extra virgin olive oil much better. Of course, with garlic, you get more flavor. Okay, look how beautiful it is. Okay, so very nice. Now, the bread is gonna be a little work because we needed to somehow break all the bread, okay? Okay, so the bread is kind of um, broken down. So now what we have to do is start to adding, okay? This tomato, the cucumber, basically the salad, but it still doesn't have the extra virgin olive oil, okay? So, idea, I'm going to, we divided this, okay, like beautiful like that, all right? Now, we try to mix it again with the bread, so it creates a salad. Now, we needed to seasoning, okay, with the olive oil. So, because uh, the olive oil that I have, they're all good, so we're gonna mix in all this for extra virgin olive oil inside this salad. So that way, you know, all my friends in Italy, they're not getting upset, okay? So, but I think they're all very good. So we're gonna use some of this, some of this, the posterino, terre sacre. And then we're gonna use the very strong ortice. It goes here. So there is a other things that Chef Marcello Gourmet imports. Uh, I import is the sun-dried tomato pate. So we're gonna add some sun-dried tomato pate here. Some black olive tapenade from Casa Rinaldi. Okay, we're gonna add it here as well. This is all product that you can find on my gourmet shop or online or in some other store. So this is the green, okay? And then, <clears throat> we start to remixing again, okay? So we're mixing everything like that. Okay, so this, and that's it. Basically, 
the salad is ready and then I'll show you later how to present this salad. Good. Okay, so to put together the panzanella, now we can just put them into a ring mold, like this. We squeeze them a little bit. Okay, and then okay, you put it here and then you press it down. Okay, you press it down like this. You can do this in advance and leave it in the mold, right? and then you just remove the molding. This is a panzanella with uh, cucumbers, tomato, red onions, extra virgin olive oil, and then uh, a tapanado of Casa Rinaldi black olives, sun-dried tomato, and green olives tapanade.